Here's a quick guide to making a tasty Thai green curry. You're going to need coconut oil, green Thai curry paste, maple oil, coconut milk, garlic, ginger and chilli finely diced, finely diced onion, I'm going to use some carrot and sweet potato with some cabbage. Before I started cutting the vegetables, I put my rice into cold water. You need about one handful per person and just put enough water in there to cover it. The first thing I'm going to do is add the paste into the oil and melt it down. And then we're going to add the onions and sweat them. Now the paste has started to break down into the oil, I'm going to add my onion. Now the onions are starting to go yellow, I'm going to add in the chilli, garlic and ginger. I'm going to turn it down to a low heat just so that they all sweat together and this is how we're going to get the temperature of the curry. Now I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of squid sauce. I'm going to put the hard vegetables in there so these might take some time to sweat down. And we're going to leave them in there for about 10 minutes before we put in the coconut milk. Okay, now you're ready to add the coconut milk. Give that a good stir. I'm going to let the juices from the onion, garlic and chilli just settle into that for about 10 minutes before we start to add any more ingredients. At this point, you can put your rice on on the lowest temperature. I'm going to add the rest of my veg in. We've got some greens there, some spinach, some cabbage, and a little bit of mushroom. I'm just going to stir that in, let that sweat down, let the juice come out of there so it's nice and green. In the last step of the curry, I'm going to add some prawns. Okay, I know my rice is ready now because it's expanded. You can try a little bit in your mouth if it's still hard not cooked. At this point I'm going to strain the rice into a colander and just rinse it over with a little bit of hot water. The curry itself is ready for the prawns. Try not to cook these for any more than five minutes because they're going to go hard. I've chosen uncooked prawns for this one so give them a stir there like that. There you go there's your final Thai curry finished piece. I put the rice into a, a little bowl and pressed it into a shape put it in the middle of the dish and then put the Thai curry around it. You wouldn't normally have a naan bread or any of that sort with a Thai curry but I like something to dip in. Just a little tip there to know if your prawns are cooked, they'll go pink. Thanks for watching.